So David Lewis, uh, people might notice that might not notice that face. I mean, last year you were hardly used, but uh, this year that seems to be changing. I mean, are the tight ends really getting into the game plan a little bit? Yeah, we're working real hard, we're staying in film, studying up, coming out here and executing, trying to execute everything and figure out what we got to do and get together. Now, uh, Coach Fran, you know Dennis Fran, you know, he was talking to me after practice the other night about how deep the the tight end position is about how how great he feels about you guys. You know, have you noticed a lot of you know look, high expectations for you guys? A lot of people looking at you like, okay, you know, this there, this group is going to be all right. There really is a lot of expectations from the tight ends. We have a lot of a lot of stuff to execute, and with only six of us and two tight end sets, you got to have some depth with the tight end position. So that's where that comes. Does that make it uh make you a little bit hungrier to get on the field? Oh yes, definitely. Have you noticed a little bit of a a build up of anticipation of the tight ends knowing that maybe there are only two slots and there's six of you guys out there trying to fight for it or is it does not it make so it much and we keep a friendly atmosphere but when we get out here we work we just try to help each other and get to the get the plays and get everything learned because it's more important to know who got to do what and get the best person on the field versus trying to be that guy so we're just trying to work and help each other out now uh maybe a lot of people wouldn't know you know that you catch passes from the Maroon and Gold game because you you're the leading rusher for a little bit there on that <laughs> fake punt. I mean, yeah. what what were you saying on that fake punt? Were you man, surprised man. it opened up so much for you? I really was. I almost tripped up when I took first took off though, but once I got downfield, I just just smashed. Were you going for the touchdown? I was trying until I saw that guy in my peripheral and that guy coming to my my knees, but. So I gotta get the yards. Gotta get, gotta do what we gotta do. What do you in your wildest dreams? Could you have thought that you would have been the leading rusher for a little bit until Tim decided to you know do what he does <laughs> no, late in that really, fourth quarter? I didn't even think about that. I just wanted to win the game. To be honest with you, just come out and do what we had to do and get the V. And it seems like you guys have been quite aggressive so far. I mean, you guys are are you guys really trying to get those wins after what happened last year? Yes, we really are. We really want it. Hungry this year. Now, uh, what did it take a four and seven season last year? Did it take a one and six finish, or is it just that? You guys have a re renewed confidence out here, renewed vigor, I guess you could say. With the new coaching staff, we got renewed confidence, bringing these guys in, trying to get them going, let them buy into the program, and get going so we can start off next season rolling. So uh, before a game, what gets you fired up? How do you guys get ready? We jam. We jam in the locker room, pump each other up, just get loud, get crunk. Now, September 3rd, I mean, if I asked you back in the spring, it would be quite a while away. Yeah, it was you, a long while. That was a long time ago, right? Now, what is this, August right 19th? Corner. It's right around the corner. It's right there. Are you ready for that? I'm so ready. You ready to get on the field? Yes, sir. So ready. All right, man. Thank you.